Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole and welcome to another what's new in skincare for the month of September 2021. Let me tell you really quickly about the way this series works. So throughout the month I have a note in my phone where I just keep adding all of the new releases that interest me and hence at the end of the month we go through those. I've noticed there's often been a theme. For example, some months we've had a lot of celebrity skincare releases. Other months we've had a, a shift in saying, okay, well, we've decided retinol is bad now. But I usually don't figure out the theme until the video itself is at an end, right? However, for this month, I can't help but notice what the theme is. I know the theme before we've even gotten into this video. And to give you a spoiler for this entire video, it's trends. We have a lot of trends going on with skincare, which makes me feel like I have to ask a question here. Is that a good approach to skincare? Should people be buying skincare because certain ingredients are hot at the moment, or should we buy skincare because those ingredients in that product work for our specific needs? Makes you wonder, right? If you are just stumbling upon this channel, yes, this is a video covering new skincare releases. I also have them sorted into price categories. You can expand the description box below to jump to any of those categories, and also product links will be included in the description box below. And yet for today's video, we actually have a new category. I don't know if we will keep this as a separate category, but I've decided for this month, we are gonna talk about skincare reformulations completely on their own. So let's not waste any more time. Let's start talking about these new reformulations. We have the Origins Eye Cream. This has been such a popular product. I have purchased the old version Ooh, let's see, at least four times, maybe five. In the past, this was called the Ginseng Eye Cream. I guess it is still under the Ginseng name, but it is no longer just the refreshing eye cream to brighten and depuff, which was already quite the name, but now it is the Ginseng Vitamin C Eye Cream to brighten and depuff. Yes, we, we get it, you were to brighten and depuff, but we also know that's for SEO. So in this eye cream, what they've done is they've added vitamin C and niacinamide. I wonder if that's because vitamin C and niacinamide are really having a moment. We also have a new reformulation from Fresh. Their original black tea firming serum has now been upgraded to include peptides. Ah uh, yes, peptides, another very buzzworthy ingredient that we very recently talked about on this channel. Peptides are also having a moment. So you could look at this and say, oh, this is a really good thing. These brands are taking older products and updating them to make them more in line with what people want right now in September of 2021. But here's my question. My question is what happens when you're somebody who can't use the trending ingredients? So we also did a series on this channel that I guess I didn't finish because I never got around to vitamin C, but I made some videos about products that didn't contain niacinamide, products that didn't contain hyaluronic acid, because the reality is, even though those ingredients work really well for most people, there are exceptions to the rule. And I can't help but think that while these brands are doing these reformulations based on trends, so to speak, what happens to the people who do have allergies to the trending ingredients? I mean, it's already happened with niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. If you're somebody who struggles with those ingredients, you have a really limited selection of skincare available to you. And then of course, there's the other side of the coin here in that, well, how much of these ingredients do you need? Do you actually need for your cleanser, your toner, your serum, your moisturizer, your SPF to contain these exact same ingredients? Probably not. Now, importantly, not all of the reformulations are adding to the products. For example, and we did talk about this already, but Rosen has updated their Bright Citrus Serum in more of a subtractive type of approach. They removed some of the ingredients that people were concerned about. So with this product, it used to contain grapefruit oil that is an allergen for some people. It can also be irritating, and so they removed it. So now it's an even simpler formula, and yet it does still contain those specific ingredients that are natural sources of vitamin E. So again, a great formula, actually better than it used to be. And then one more reformulation that I wanted to talk about this month, and that is the Caudalie Instant Detox Mask. Ah, the French skincare. So with this one, it's actually completely the same formula, but now in a 100% 
recyclable tube. On one hand, I'm really happy to see this because Caudalie as a brand is a brand I have critiqued for being the opposite of eco-friendly. Let's take a look at what we have going on here. It looks like <laughs> still a plastic tube. What I am gonna guess from looking at this, and it's strange that they have this advertised on the Sephora website. I actually combed through their Instagram and couldn't find out more about what was going on here, but I'm guessing that possibly they upgraded the plastic to a version, the, for example, the number one variety of plastic, which you can get more from than number five, six, seven. Eh, I really just feel neutral on this. It doesn't make me feel more incentivized to buy from Caudalie. Let me know what you all think about this upgrade here. Let's move on to new drugstore skincare releases, which is kind of an odd category of a, a wide variety of price points, right? Let's perhaps start with the most affordable and just another massive hit for me. Another one. Yes, Geek and Gorgeous has stepped up to the plate and come out with a 2% salicylic acid serum that, for us in the US, at least as of now, translates into a less than $10 product with no added fragrance, no added irritants, really a very short and to the point ingredients list. We do have a few interesting ingredients added here. We have sarcosine, we have allantoin, both of which are excellent for moisturizing the skin, sarcosine, which may even help with penetration of that 2% salicylic. Geek and Gorgeous had gifted me this kind of a while ago. I am not gonna lie, it was hard to keep my mouth shut about this one because it is something that I have needed. I've talked about this for years. I have needed a substitute for The Ordinary's 2% salicylic acid. Now, the inky list did work. I had no problems with it, but I would much rather buy glass packaging for reasons we've already discussed in this video. So, you know, again, Geek and Gorgeous just steps up to come out with a product that needs to be on the market. And let's talk about this new release from L'Oreal next. This is the Age Perfect Cell Renewal Anti-Aging Night Moisturizer. This one is so funny to me because there are some brands that sell antioxidant-rich products for a lot of money. I always find the conversation around antioxidants to be kind of interesting because I do think you absolutely should have antioxidants in your skincare routine, but if you have any products that have, you know, large levels of plant ingredients, you're probably getting antioxidants. So honestly, good for L'Oreal for coming out with a product like this. I do think that uh, their skincare line, at least prior to when I checked up on the brand this month, it was a little bit lacking in my personal opinion. But this is all to tell you, I like their new direction. I really do. You know what's funny? Lancome and L'Oreal are under the same L'Oreal corporation, right? But I'm gonna tell you that this particular product feels more like Estee Lauder. In that, at least in my opinion, I feel like Estee Lauder always had the kind of more rich and thick moisturizers. This one is so thick. I enjoyed using it, but it has the Lancome smell. It is very scented, very scented. I don't know if I should say the Lancome smell. That's a very specific smell. This is just strong. But I'll tell you what, I, I like the ingredients. I like the antioxidants. I like the texture. I just don't like the smell. So I got an idea with this one. I thought, what if I start using it as a neck cream? It has been amazing for that. And by the way, when I say neck cream, I actually mean and everywhere across this area, moisturizer. Oh, it is so occlusive and nourishing. I, I love it for this purpose. I also, of course, want to talk about the new release from Good Molecules, their Gentle Retinol Cream. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. $8 for this, and it is 0.1% retinol. One thing you can always be guaranteed is that Good Molecules will actually tell you how much of these active ingredients they contain because their nothing to hide ingredients list is such a central part of the brand. And $8 for an ounce? This is amazing. As per usual, no added fragrance. We actually do have some other interesting ingredients going on here. We have some Bakuchiol, in case you want some Bakuchiol. There's other brands that have, you know, retinol Bakuchiol blends for what, $60? Here's Good Molecules doing it for $8. We have some willow bark extract, which is a great anti-inflammatory ingredient. We even have some green tea in here. 
I am very happy about this product, but it is not a product that I needed to purchase. 0.1% retinol is what I would consider to be the most beginner friendly level of retinol. So if you're interested in trying a retinol and you've never tried one before, this may be the perfect product for you. For me, my skin finally adjusted to the 0.1% retinaldehyde. So we're not gonna back up here. We're not, we're not gonna do it. We're gonna keep moving forward. But again, you know, it's really exciting to see this. Now here's a new drugstore, well, should I say drugstore? Here's a new skincare brand that is called Juvia's Skin. Can you guess who, uh, who this one is under? You might have to be a makeup enthusiast to know, but if you are, then you already do know. Yep, that's right, Juvia's Place, the brand known for very affordable and intensely pigmented products, a black owned brand. They've now branched out into skincare. It is funny though, their pricing is kind of a bit all over the place. And yet I gotta say this packaging is absolutely adorable. So we have uh, the Hyaluronic Glow Serum, which has a, a, a vibe to me of being between Tatcha and Glow Recipe. Do, do you see it? Do you see what I'm saying? $16 for that, not bad. But yet the 25% vitamin C serum is 45. That's a big price difference, right? Is it drugstore? Or is it mid-range? I don't know, let's just talk about it really quickly. It looks like they have come out with a fragrance-free brand, but I think that the potential criticism I see is that quite a few of these products do contain alcohol. Personally, I'm not opposed to seeing alcohol in products. I do believe that it can be formulated well into a product, but that's the key. It has to be formulated at the right amount to increase penetration of those ingredients without drying out the skin. So, you know, the only way you can really know is by trying it. And we're just sitting here looking at Inkies and that's all we're doing. Let's actually look at this expensive vitamin C, the 25% vitamin C serum, $45. So they say it is two times the amount of vitamin C found in other brands. Yeah, that's kind of true. Although Skin Diva does have a 25% vitamin C. Also, it's ethyl ascorbic acid, which is a derivative. Also, it is one of the more expensive vitamin C derivatives, but still worth noting it's a derivative. That, of course, makes it more easy to adapt into a skincare routine, but means you can't really apply the same research from LAA to it. I know a lot of people do prefer it though, but yeah, that looks like a nice formula. Honeysuckle flower, jojoba seed oil, very basic overall, but definitely we do see that denatured alcohol in there. Why don't we go back to the Squalane Glow Oil, since I feel like I'm selecting the expensive products here. So we have three types of oils in Squalane. Assuming this inky is correct. Assuming that's correct. That's kind of strange formatting for the way you would typically see an ingredients list. But otherwise, yeah, I mean, that looks nice. I don't know. I feel like it's really cute and the formulas look all right. But I don't know. I don't know if I'll uh, rush out and buy through the website. Maybe though, maybe. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, this is kind of more the indie section, isn't it? I'll rename it in the description box. I also wanted to share this with you because this is, <laughs> I, I love this release so much. This is by The Butters Hygienics and this is a bath oil by the name of The Blood of My Enemies. I had to buy it, y'all. I had to because all I want to do is bathe in the blood of my enemies. It is so perfect. So obviously this is a Halloween release, but also can we just comment on how it is a Halloween release done Mwah. so well? Should skincare for your face necessarily be a limited edition Halloween release? Maybe not, but body care, have fun with it. Have as much fun with it as you want to. And come on, the blood of my enemies. I think I personally don't wanna limit this to just Halloween. I'm thinking, this is currently out of stock, by the way, I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. But also, saw this one coming from a mile away. They still have the small size available, but when the full size is back in stock, I think I'm gonna buy this as holiday gifts. This is so up the alley of my friends. Am I admitting that my friends are kind of more of a sarcastic bunch? Is anyone surprised by this like attracts like and whatnot? My friends would love this so much, especially because the Butters Hygienics is not just this hilarious brand, but they're also proudly LGBT and black owned. Gotta love it. Uh, I do have a code with this company, but for the time being, don't use my code. There's a much better sale going on on the website. 34% off, $34. 
Again, I'll have the information in the description box below, but if you missed that sale, then you can use my affiliate code, which is Alice for 15% off. Let's chat about Korean skincare next, but really quickly, I want to mention again the Medicube Red Clear Sika Body Scrub and the Red Clear Sika Body Mist. I have a full video on these if you want more info. Also, go enter the giveaway. I didn't want to put giveaway in the title because you know how people are. They'll just subscribe temporarily for the giveaway. I'd rather it go to my actual subscribers. So yeah, go enter. And then we have two new releases from Purito that, oh my goodness, I have had so many questions about. So first of all, Purito has finally come out with a new sunscreen. Now, Purito is indeed the company that we talked about the most with the Korean sunscreen scandal. Did I almost say sun scare? <laughs> I think I almost said sun scare. I've seen a few people say things like, you know, I just simply don't trust Purito after this. And I'm going to say, I would never feel comfortable judging someone for saying that. It is your face. You are absolutely entitled to say, no, thank you. I, I really think that we will have a better world if we all just respect each other's decisions. Overall, I'm curious about it. I'm curious to see if it has a white cast, given that it has physical filters. The price isn't bad. Right now I'm looking at the Yes Style website, $16.80 on there. It's something I would try. I'm actually more likely to buy it through Stylevana, so let me take a look there. Yo, let's just do it through Stylevon. It's $16.69. I will add that to my cart. And I also do want to try the Purito Oat In Calming Gel Cream, which is $13.99 on the Stylevana website. I also have a Stylevana code if you are interested. It is INF. What is it? <laughs> hey, you want to know a, a, t a tiny little story about this affiliate code? So. When Stylevana first sent me this code, I saw it and I was like, oh, what a, what a tragic misspelling. It's INF10 rabbit H. I was like, oh, somebody, somebody's fingers just slipped when trying to type out in the rabbit H. Nope, turns out it's influencer 10% discount. <laughs> I really thought that. <laughs> Okay, Purito Oatin Calming Gel Cream. Let's see, this looks really nice. $13.99 for 100 milliliters. 77% oat seed water, which is a wonderful calming ingredient. I wonder how this compares to the Aveeno moisturizer. You know, even the Aveeno one, I didn't think I was gonna like it that much just because gel moisturizer sounds like it's for a more oily skin type. But I do, I do like it. I am very curious to see how a gel cream would go. And then we have one more release that you all have been asking me about from Rovectin. For this one, you'll have to go to the Rovectin website, but for this, I don't have an affiliate code, but I do have a, a referral discount, so I'll have that linked below. The Lotus Water Calming Toner, $22 for 6.76 fluid ounces, 392,000 parts per million of Nalumbo Nucifera. Oh, please let this be a dupe for the Primera Essence. I'm almost done with my second to last bottle of that and I'm gonna miss it so much. I'm gonna miss it so much, y'all. This looks beautiful though. You know, much like all of the Rovectin products, there's no added fragrance in here. It won't work for you if you can't use hyaluronic acid as we do have quite a few forms in here, but again, that ingredient works for most. So this looks like a very hydrating and restorative and healing formula. Oh, I really want to try this. Stop giving away that my table is wobbly. The people don't need to know that. In my own defense, I thrifted this table for $3 with the glass top. I mean, you don't complain if you get a $3 wobbly but beautiful table, right? And the reason I must thrift my home goods is because I can't stop buying high-end skincare specifically new glow recipe releases. They get me every time. I bought the last one too, the clay mask. I'm hoping to have some video reviews up of those soon. I just wanna make sure I get a lot of use from them. And I actually have gotten a lot of use from this one. So what are we talking about? I'm sure you all know the Guava Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. Somehow I think the packaging is even cuter on this one. This was $45, but cute. And five forms of vitamin C, which of course means the derivatives, 
Tranexamic acid, wonderful ingredient, ferulic acid and vitamin E, guava seed oil and fruit extract, so you're getting natural sources of vitamin C in addition to antioxidants. And yo, this has been amazing for me in this transition time with the retinaldehyde that I cannot stop talking about because it's been a big deal for my skin. And again, I know I've said this before with Glow Recipe, but the thing is, for me, their products are just really fun to use. Yes, I do look forward to picking up this pink product and then I see results. And I think that that is the hype with this brand. And just to reiterate, in case you're stumbling upon this video, the idea behind both vitamin C and vitamin C derivatives is that they help to uh, reduce hyperpigmentation, even out your skin tone and increase collagen production. So fantastic for any kind of spots you may have on your skin. Combine that with tranexamic acid, which is also for hyperpigmentation, and then throw in a whole bunch of antioxidants because you're glow recipe and that's what you do. Anyway, a full review coming soon. Let's aim for next week. I think that's reasonable for both this and the watermelon mask. So these next two products were sent to me in PR and true story. At the beginning of this month, I was convinced that the theme in our What's New in Skincare video was gonna be the rise of eye serums and eye creams. <laughs> we have quite a lot of them in this section, you will see. But anyway, let's start with this one from Grande Cosmetics. This is the Grande Revive Brightening Eye Cream with blue light protection and wrinkle defense. Now. I'm gonna say, for the blue light protection claim, even though I don't talk about that too much, they're basically saying it will be rich in antioxidants, and it is, it uses purslane extract. Wrinkle defense, well, they've got Matrixyl 3000 in here, which we talked extensively about in that peptides video. But I'm gonna say what I really think the strength with this particular product is, is its packaging. I think that there are some amount of people who are looking for a, a way to apply products without having to touch their skin and they developed a good system here. You've got a screw off lid and then you just twist up the bottom here and you can very easily apply it. It sinks in very rapidly to your skin so you actually don't need to use your fingers at all. The brush tip you can just use to brush it in. I think that's a great idea. I've actually started to like the uh, no touch required skincare myself, which I kind of got into from uh, the sunscreen sticks. I need to give you all an update on those because it turns out they actually really have a place for me when I'm very busy. They were so helpful, so helpful when we had the moving truck. Anyway, let me not get myself too distracted. But yeah, I do think that is the strength of this product because admittedly, it is tiny. These products that are made like this always are tiny. That's the pro con there. This one is 0.24 fluid ounces, but you know, again, I think it will have an audience. It's nice to see Grande come out with this. Uh, for some reason, this is not available at Sephora. You will have to go to the Alta website to get this, but uh, again, stay tuned for the holiday sets section. Oh, let me make sure to mention also, this is a fragrance-free product, but it is not free of alcohol, which admittedly, I think is part of why it sinks so quickly into your skin. No, I do not feel it is drying. I Like we talked about earlier in today's video, I think they formulated it well into this product, and I think it actually does serve a purpose. Then from Dr. Dennis Gross, we have the Advanced Retinol and Ferulic Triple Correction Eye Serum. When I got this in the mail and I started looking at this ingredients list, it just reminded me of everything that the Dr. Dennis Gross brand is. To sum this up briefly for you, Dr. Dennis Gross products are so strong and yet somehow I can use them. And we all know that has not been the case with every brand, for example, Face Theory, but for some reason, Dr. Dennis Gross works for me. I recently went back to the, uh, the peel the Alpha Beta Daily Peel. And again, I'm over here going, why wasn't I using that? Why wasn't I using that? But let's take a look at everything that's going on here. So we have one, two, three, number four ingredient on the list here is Bakuchiol and number five is Retinol. Then we get into lots of antioxidants. We have Willow Bark Extract. We have Salicylic, Caffeine, Licorice. There's your brightening ingredients. We have Glycolic Acid in an eye serum. How did you do it, Dr. Dennis Gross? We do have a peptide ingredient. We do have panthenol. Thank you for adding some calming ingredients to this formula. Then we have mandelic acid, another AHA ingredient. And y'all, somehow it comes together to not be irritating. Somehow I can use this on my eye area. Are you kidding me? And for AM or PM use, I just, I don't even know how they did it, but I will tell you, they say you will see results in 10 days. 
I saw results in even less, even less time than that. But of course I did. How does Dr. Dennis Gross do it? You could potentially have a reaction to this, I would suspect. Don't take it at face value that I didn't. I would make sure to read a lot of reviews if you do have a sensitive eye area, but you know, otherwise, man, what a potent formula. I have just a few more products I want to discuss in this section. We have from Kinship, the Bright Wave Energizing and Brightening Eye Cream. This one is not too bad. 0.5 ounces for $32, not bad for mid-range or mid-range. We'll say Kinship is mid-range. This looks like the exact type of eye cream that I really enjoy. I personally did really like the Ule Henriksen uh, banana bright eye cream. So I am pretty tempted to buy this, admittedly because so many people are directly comparing it to that same eye cream that I've loved. Here's a review that says, I'm not too big on eye creams. I thought they were a cash grab from skincare, but I just started getting into them. Well, you got into them in the right time because apparently that's how everybody feels. But it helps to remove the tiredness from my eyes. Yeah, and I do suspect that a lot of what's going on with this product is because it does have a tint to it, you are actually getting a cosmetic impact, but you should also be getting benefits from the ingredients, which we haven't even looked at yet. Let's do that. Ah, so we have red algae, a very hydrating ingredient that they are claiming brightens dark circles. Chaga mushroom, also a great hydrating ingredient and an adaptogen, and vitamin C ester. Let's go to the ingredients list and see what form of vitamin C. It is THD ascorbate, so it is that oil-soluble form. Yeah, honestly, I think I might pick this one up. I still have been thinking about doing a kinship trial for basically this entire year. I got a lot of mixed feedback when I said I was interested in trying this brand, though. They seem to be uh, either loved or hated. I, I really don't know. I'm, I'm mostly intrigued because they have a retinaldehyde product available at Ulta. Last new product for today's video is actually a two for the price of one. Wait, <laughs> I actually wish that was very true. We are ending this video with the new releases from the Augustinus Bader, which I have talked a lot about that moisturizer, the Rich Cream, because I do in fact love it. But I have some commentary on this new release. Augustinus Bader has released the serum with TFC-8 for $375. And also the eye cream with TFC-8 for $215. Look, here's why I have so much to say about this. Yes, I do like this TFC-8 ingredient, but I remember what your whole spiel was. Dr. Augustinus Bader, your whole thing with the rich cream was that it replaces your entire skincare routine. Somewhere I talk about this new product and somewhere this is exactly what I say because that is how this cream was introduced. You don't need to be using a serum. You don't need to be using an eye cream. Just use this one very expensive moisturizer and it replaces everything else. This whole situation reminds me so much of the Paula's Choice eye cream drama that happened in the skincare community, in case you don't remember that happening. Paula's Choice, Paula, said that she doesn't believe in eye cream. She thinks that they are overpriced moisturizers, right? And that's really where this whole mentality of eye cream equals bad came from. But then Paula's Choice came out with an eye cream by request. I feel like this is the epitome of what people are talking about when they say a release feels like a cash grab. It does. It may be that people begged for these products, but it's really hard to not feel like it is a cash grab because this goes against the original marketing, your original marketing, Augustinus. Your original marketing was you don't need these things, and now here's these things that we said you didn't need. It's that whole mixed messages thing. You know, it's mixed messages. People don't like that. They don't like that. Let's move on because it's September and you know what this means, right? It means it's time for holiday sets. I'm only gonna talk to you about the holiday sets that have really called my name and I've already bought one. Again, you know if you follow me on Instagram, but let's start on the Sephora website because we have two from Dr. Dennis Gross. Let's start with the Merry Smooth and Bright set. Mm, yes, way to scream holiday set. So this has their LED mask in it. I do not own Dr. Dennis Gross's. I was sent one in PR by the brand Cure and I love it. I love my LED masks so much. They are an investment. They really are quite an investment. So I will say 
What you're getting in this set is something that I do personally like to see. You are paying the same exact price as the LED mask alone, but you're also getting the full size of the eye serum that I talked about earlier in this video, which is a great eye serum, the full size of the regular ferulic and retinol serum, and then five times, five of the alpha beta peels. So yeah, it's a, it's a really cute set. Not gonna lie, that's a nice set. Think it'll make it till the VIB sale? Oh my gosh, we have the Sephora friends and family sale coming up. I don't know if I have any more friends that work at Sephora, y'all. I used to in New Orleans. I don't, we don't even have a Sephora here. Yeah, it's painful, trust me. We also have the Dr. Dennis Gross Lit It Glow set, which I buy these every single year. This is the same price as the Alpha Beta Peel Pack, $88, but this time, you actually get a full size of the Pore Perfecting Cleansing Gel. I've never seen this before. You always get many sizes in this. It's a full size this time, and you get the exfoliating body treatments in the little travel size. Great set. Laneige has also listened to your pleas for some mini sizes. We have the Midnight Minis kit, which has five different flavors of the lip sleeping mask, all in the little 0.1 ounce sizes, so it's actually a half ounce of lip mask, it'll last you a long time. So this one has original sweet candy gummy bear. I've been curious about gummy bear. How is that one? The lemon sorbet, and I think that's choco mint covered by the cloud there. Mint choco, I was close. I do actually own that one. It's quite nice. $18, that's not bad at all for that one. And then let's go over to the Ulta website. Grande Cosmetics, the Bigger Better Grande set. Yes, I bought this one, $68 with a $118 value. You get the full size of the serum, the lash serum. But you also get minis of Grande Brow, Grande Drama Mascara, and two more favorites. I love the clear lip gloss and I love the Grande Pout uh, plumping lip mask. I actually just finished mine, so cannot wait to get this in the mail. That is an amazing deal. Now the last set for today's video is on my wish list. I've heard, and this is just a rumor, but just so you all know, I've heard there's a 20% off coupon coming from Ulta, which would make sense because the Sephora friends and family sale is coming. And you know how those two compete like siblings. But if that happens, I'm buying this because what a stellar deal. So this is the Paracone MD, the Explorer Kit. It is $89 and they don't even tell you the value on this, but you know me, you know I calculated it. You get the two ounce size of the High Potency Classics Cleanser, that's a $15 value. The .25 ounce size of the Cold Plasma Plus Advanced Serum, which is a $37.25 value, that is actually an amazing product. Cold Plasma Plus the Intensive Hydrating Complex Half Ounce Size, $44.75 value. High Potency Classics Face Finishing and Firming Moisturizer, full size, two ounce here, $69 value. And then the Acyl Glutathione Eye Serum, which I almost bought in the sale. That is half the full size, so it's actually a $61 value. Yep, comes to $227, over 50% off retail price. But that is it, my friends. We've come to the end of another What's New in Skincare. I feel like it was a really long month this month, was it? Maybe. But thank you all so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video, and I will see you all next time.